desire for one human being to love another is perhaps the most precious and fulfilling gift that has been entrusted to us. Loving someone is a reason to stretch beyond our limits, to become more for the sake of the other. I, Andy, take you, Holly. I, Holly, take you, Andy, from your lawfully wedded husband. A lawfully wedded wife. For better or worse. For better or worse. I will love and honor you all of the days of my life. I will love and honor you all the days of my life. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. I pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> We did the thing. Holly, growing up together, we were always in different phases of life. What I didn't realize as a young girl is that my relationship with my sister would be the most important relationship that I have to this day. Seeing you and Andy as a couple over the course of nine years has made me realize that your loyalty and commitment to those you care for is unconditional. Andy, you have been like a brother to me for as long as I can remember, but your incredible family has blended seamlessly with ours. I wish you every bit of happiness as you enter this new chapter of marriage. Nobody knows each other quite like Andy and Holly. Many of us here have been lucky enough to be with Andy and Holly since the beginning, to Florida and back, through multiple graduations, and it really does put into perspective that Andy and Holly have been together since high school. That is something quite rare these days. The two of our favorite people. We love you guys. I got to watch Andy and Holly. Andy is a man of much game, and he decided to start dating Holly on a cruise ship. And ever since then, they have been in love. And it is a really wonderful moment to see that. They've always reminded me of the Hebrew term for mishpaha. It means family, but it's bigger than that. And you can see it in this room. And it is the family we choose. It is everybody coming together to show the people they love and the people they care about. Holly, you could not be marrying into a better family. You could not be marrying into a better family. Always grow into a better family, and you guys have chosen the great family. I remember when Holly first brought Andy around. I wasn't so sure at first that it was gonna be just a short high school thing, or if he was gonna be here for the long haul. But quickly I realized that he was the one for Holly. They are perfect for each other, and somehow Andy manages to handle Holly, even when she can be a tad bit moody. One of my favorite times with Holly and Andy was we went, when we went down to Dallas to see Western play in the Cotton Bowl. And I remember ringing in the new year with Andy, shotgunning a beer standing in the hotel tub. I've always thought that I've had two sisters, and today I can finally say that I have a brother. I remember the first time I met Andy, and this was after their global ed trip. Andy first came over to the house, he brought flowers, and asked me if he could date Holly. Which, of course, yeah, I said yes, and th things came full circle in 2020. Andy asked to have Holly's hand in marriage, just as he had asked about a decade ago if he could date her. No doubt they will succeed as a loving and fun couple. Holly and I actually met outside of this country while we were in high school, and someone thought it was a good idea to give a 17-year-old a drink package on a cruise ship, so... 
I had a fake henna tattoo on my chest, and I thought I was hot shit. And I saw this beautiful blonde sun tanning on the deck, and I watched for 15 minutes while she talked with a close friend and swooped in as soon as she left. I spent the next four hours sitting next to Holly, feeding her drinks, and just hearing about who she was. I've heard since I was 19 years old from several people in this room, damn, I can't wait till the day you two get married. There's not much in this life that Holly and I love more than the people we get to share it with. So here's a toast to all of you. We love you guys and I couldn't imagine life without you. Oh, oh, oh.